All right, it's time for some Monster Hunter Rock, Paper, Scissors. Let's get rolling. Let's make a weird character. And let's go find an Aptonoth. Oh, right. I also got some DLC items. Cool. I will see which of these are actually useful. What the? <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Wait, what? Hairstyle will be hidden while wearing head armor. That's, um, that's fine, I think. All right. I look majestic. <laughs> This Nurkagante hair set. It's so good. I'm electric. I'm either an elect. No, I'm totally a poison electric type Pokemon. Let's be honest here. <laughs> Let's please spot the main character. Boy, scout flies are actually kind of spooky. You want to do a manhunt, they'll just track a person down. I have to hurry.
<laughs> I look so happy to be here. Oh, Doomsday's coming! The water is filled with blood! What is this? I don't know, but I can't wait to drink it! This is a bad sign. Huh? What? What's happening? I feel like Monster Hunter needs its, like, Flight of the Valkyries, but Flight of the Rathaloses. Eh, nah, doesn't hit quite right. Alright, so the tutorial and intro on this is pretty boring and I've already been through it, so we're gonna, we're gonna cut a lot of this stuff out. Town's real pretty, though. Did you enter the sacred mountain without our permission? Why? A dangerous Rathalos lives there. Don't you think you should have mentioned that? What do you mean, dangerous? The Rathalos that inhabits the sacred mountain is Guardian Ratha. He protects this island. Huh? The people it injured might say otherwise. That's... That's because you raised your weapons at him. Hmm. So you're saying we should stand before a monster unarmed? This is a rider's island. Brandishing weapons at Guardian Ratha is an unforgivable act. Hmm. Hmm. Have you all lost your collective minds idolizing a wild Rathalos? Give me a break. Uh, I'll give you a break, all right. Okay, that's enough. Knock it off, both of you. The main reason we invited hunters to our island's festival was so that we could foster a little goodwill between us. Kana's right. Besides, there are children listening. Please calm yourselves. Uh, yes, sir. Well, then, let's listen to the hunter's point of view, shall we? Why would you call Guardian Ratha dangerous? Because we were tipped off. Raisewing Ratha, the monster with the wings of ruin, lives on this island. The, uh, the wings of ruin? Hmm. Yes. It's said that a beat of its wings can bring about waves of destruction. Hmm. Chief, do you know about the wings of ruin? Because I've never heard of them. Ah, yes, the wings of ruin. Legend has it that a long time ago, a Rathalos born in this region brought terrible chaos and destruction to our world. But, but, that's, that's only a legend, right? Hmm. Who can say? In any case, our top priority right now is to determine the cause of these strange happenings. Yes, of course. Why did the ocean change color? What was that light? And where did all the Rathalos go? So much we don't understand. Let's organize an expedition team and survey the area. You got it. Y'all know it's just gonna be me, right? <laughs> Maybe they'll have some functional hmm. people in the village. You want to join the expedition too? I don't know, this could be dangerous. And this kid only just became a real rider. You're worried about Guardian Ratha, aren't you? That makes sense. He was your grandpa's monster, after all. Your grandfather, Red, was a fine, upstanding rider. He led our tribe and protected the island alongside Guardian Ratha for many years. Uh, I sure wish he was still around now. I bet he'd know what to do. 
You will join the team. Chief Gara, are you sure about this? It's a big job to dump on a rookie's shoulders. Not to worry, Kana. You'll go together. Kana can guide you. Use the experience to learn what you're capable of and what you must do as a rider. So, I'll be a teacher? Something wrong? No way! It sounds kind of cool, actually. If that's what you want, Chief, I'm all for it. Okay. Rider class is now in session. You'd better keep up, newbie. First things first. Go change into your rider gear. Oh, wow. You look the part already. I look so cute. Meet me at the stables when you're ready. We'll start with rider rule number one. Okay, so this is going to take a while. <laughs> Luckily, I did all this tutorial before, so I know what I'm doing. Somebody's still going to be like, you should have played the tutorial and read it all again. Uh, 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 tutorials make me cry. Hopefully, I can change my hair color at some point. Because I'd love to have my hair color match. Oh. Hey, the camera rotation is like... A thousand times better on PC. When I was playing this on the Switch, the, the camera was just like one speed and really awkward. It's still a little rough, but it's a lot better than it used to be. Boy, this island is pretty, except for that mountain. That mountain could use a little bit of a pass. I want one of those guys. They look great. Well, maybe not their faces, but the rest of them looks amazing. I... I said this when I was playing the uh, the demo on the Switch, but I really want to have just a bunch of, like, weird B-grade monsties. Just for the hell of it? Because, like, why not? What if I win the game with an Aptonoth? It's probably not worth it. <laughs> it's an Aptonoth. These make great training partners when you're just starting out. Let's murder it! Training partner indeed, it is now dead. Like, I don't know, how callous can you be? It's a great training partner, kill it. Like, boy, if this this is how uh, martial arts worked in uh, real life, it would be a problem. <laughs> oh gosh, I hadn't really paid attention to their weird, creepy rake hands. But I'm getting some serious salad finger vibes from these Velociprey. I, I don't know if it's just me, but like, oh gosh, they even have like... One extra long coke nail kind of thing. I realize it's none of these things and it's like, it's a totally fine design. But there's just something about the really creepy thing fingers that are just, oh, they're sending me in the worst possible way. What a dream it would be to play one of these games that's like a lot more open world. Oh, it'd be so good. You know, find different monsters that let you get different places. I guess they already are going to have that. But like, I want it to be more freeform. Kind of. <laughs> I love how I can just waggle my hands. Like, modern modern Monster Hunter games are just like, oh yeah, collecting stuff is really boring. Alright, you can just press A to collect it automatically. You used to have to, like, bust out a pickaxe and it was the worst. Hold on. Something's here. Keep quiet and stay close, okay? <laughs> My eyes just wiggle in their tiny sockets. It's so creepy. That's a Kuluyaku. But what in the world is it doing?
Huh? I thought I was a goner. I was taking a cat nap when all of a sudden I got attacked. What, what exactly are you? You look like a feline, but somehow different. Yeah! With my wit beyond compare and unparalleled flair, you're absolutely right. I'm not like other felines now that you mention it. I'm, I'm a mutant. The legend, the feline hero. That's right. I'm Naviru. Ugh. Uh, Naviru? Um, I've never heard of any feline hero. Look out! It's back! Persistent Kulu, you ask me! Hey, buddy, you're a rider, right? Huh? How about you take care of this bumbling bird? No way. This kid's still a rookie. Don't worry! I'll be right here to lend a helping paw! Well, looks like it's time to ride on! You know, seeing this is on PC, I really hope somebody makes a mod that just replaces Naviru's voice Naviru's voice acting with just a cat. Just just a cat. <laughs> it would be great. Just meowing. Why not? <laughs> I this thing is only used technical moves and she's like, I'm gonna do a technical. It's like I mean at least with the uh, Velocidromes they hadn't had an excuse. She's just, well, I mean, in this case, she's actually doing the right thing, but... <laughs> what an absolutely, like, intense, like, I'm gonna grab this rock animation! And it looks so pensive, too, it's like, oh, rock, but maybe egg? No, but rock. The wild part is, like, this Kulu Yaku is incredibly good at blocking attacks with the rock. Like, this sucker's got, like, mad parry skills. It's not even, like, getting its fingers moshed by my attacks. I don't know, if I tried that, I'd probably lose all my fingers. And drop the rock. I love the just, like, generic, basic Monster Hunter hammer in, the, in these games. It's just a giant spiked hunk of metal on a stick. I guess that's what hammers are, but, like, there's no finesse to this thing. It is here to do damage and nothing more. <laughs> Part broken. Dropped item. It dropped a rock. God, the music on this is so good, though. Like, dang, it's good. I, I'm gonna have to listen to the soundtrack for this game for sure. All right, kinship skill. It is time to speed bunk. <laughs> it's so goofy, but it owns it. Oh, my eyes moved again. This will put you out of commission. It's so over the top. I can't wait to see if the Aftonoth has something like this. Because <laughs> I can only imagine it'd be silly. All right, we did it, buddy! Boy, it was my heart thumping. But you did great, newbie. Looks like you've got your grandpa's skills. What did I tell you? This famous feline knows talent when he sees it. This is the start of something epic, I tell ya! From here on out, we're gonna be partners! And I'll do it all totally free of charge. Although, if you really want to thank me, I wouldn't say no to a couple of donuts. <laughs> you know, you could just ask for something to eat if you're hungry. This furball's not like other felines, huh? But hey, you got an egg out of the deal. Wanna head home? Normally I hate mascot characters, but Naviru has uh, grown on me pretty tremendously. I, I'm i much more okay with mascot characters when they are abused mercilessly. Which is weird, because like normally I feel bad about that sort of thing. But look, when they look and act like a dough ball with a really annoying voice, it just seems apropos to bully them. Aw, look at it, Sponge Beast. I don't know. I'm looking forward to this. I'm curious how many different monsters they got. 
Because I can only imagine they probably have a lot. Uh, it'd be really cool if they actually really had, like, a massive back catalog in this. Like, more than Rise? And World? Oh, that'd be lovely. Hmm. Excellent. And you're the one who found this egg? Yep, that's right. I can tell a good egg just by the smell. I see. Just as Kana said, you are an odd feline. And you clearly know quality when you see it. It's a very fine egg, I'd say. You're going to hatch a great little monstie from it. I wonder what kind of monster it'll be. I can't wait to find out. Go on, stand in front of it. I still wish this was like a sword or something. He just pulls it out and do starts doing sword dancing. Instead, Grandpa's going to do his uh, daily calisthenics. Or, you know, summon a hurricane. What's he doing? Oh, shit. Wivarians have coffee. Of our people. We perform it to bring luck to a ship's voyage or to pray that a strong and healthy monster will hatch from an egg. Whoa, and three fingers. I forgot about all of these things. That's really cool, actually. <laughs> I get the feeling he's just been doing that since he was Ready? a kid and then now convinced the everybody was traditional. Stone. It will link your heart with your monstie and help it hatch. I like it how we probably kidnapped this monster from, like, its parents. Believe in yourself. You can do this. And now we're brainwashing it so that it's our fight slave forever. Until we replace it with a better better variety of, of one. And it is... Yep. Kulu Yaku. We absolutely just kidnapped it from its parent. It's not like the previous one was actually trying to, like, you know, take the egg to eat it. No, we just stole its baby. <laughs> and now it's full size for reasons. I kind of wish you had to go through, like, a little bit of a baby stage. As somebody that grew up with the Digimon World series, I don't know, there's something kind of fun going, like, you know, baby all the way up to champion and then beyond. It was great. Anyway, we're going to call this one Nugget. Well, yeah, you stole it from his parent. What did you think it was going to be? Wow. Nicely done. It's already accepted you as its rider. Why are I'm you so feeling proud. my face? If only your grandfather were here to see this. Ah, <laughs> with those claws, <laughs> he really could put an eye out if I had any. What you doing, Ronmar? You want to stay with the rookie? Seriously? And after everything I've done for you? Ronmar's just being honest with his feelings. Perhaps if you were gentler with him, maybe. Hmm? Oh, is that so, Mr. Hero? I ought to wash your mouth out of soap. <laughs> <laughs> Come now, Kana. There's no harm in it. All right, fine. After seeing how much you've bonded, I can't exactly object. Just take good care of Ronmar, okay? You and your monsties gotta work together to help each other grow. Got it? Nice going, buddy! Right. You've got Ronmar as a monstie now, too. So, what should I have you do next? Ah, what good timing. There's a new monster den on Rider Overlook. You'll go investigate for me, won't you? Rider Overlook, huh? That sure takes me back. 
going there is a rite of passage for new riders. Your grandpa had me go there all by myself. I still hadn't gotten the hang of handling Ranmar. It was a real thrill ride, I can tell you that. All riders have to strike out on their own someday. This is your chance to test yourself. No need to worry now. Don't you think, Kana? Chief Gara is right. You may still be a rookie, but I trust you to take this on alone. <laughs> He's got such a cute little run. Oh, we're going to leave that poor cat in the dust. Oh, dang. So I got the deluxe edition version of this game. I could just go hard right from the get go. I'm going to go with the raised wing. It's a little pink. You know what? Oh, wait, no. It didn't have to be a little pink. It can change the green, but I can't. Well, I guess we'll go with pink. All right, fine. You know what? Here's the other solution. Do I want to do I move, move away from this hairdo? <laughs> oh, boy. Um, I can become a lot of things. Actually, it's almost not half bad. I kind of like this hairdo. Like, the Nergigante stuff is good, but it just doesn't match. Oh, nope. Cancel. Uh, change expression. Oh. Okay, there we go. I'm just I'm just gonna match whatever I'm wearing and probably not wear the Nergigante stuff. Naviru, can I make him look <laughs> Oh, he's so cute. Um, I'm probably gonna make him wear the Nergigante stuff just because. Like the pukey pukey is good, but I don't like the strap, and I wish it was a little bit more full body. It's so <laughs> creepy cute. Uh, uh, no, we're gonna go. We're gonna go with that. There we go. Oh, do we have anything else, or is this just change appearance? Nah, it's just that. All right. Anyway, so I uh, <laughs> I look uh, <laughs> oh shoot, I got a cool ass helmet. I didn't even know that. All right. Hi guys. I just uh had to put on my glam. Now it's time for some adventuring. Everybody's like. What the hell happened? What's where'd Durbo get that stuff? And Durbo's just like flashes his wallet and then runs away. Now I think I could just yeah, press and hold. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Time to go dunk on some things. A lot. Oh, I can just jump whenever I want. Hello. Wait, how did they ambush us? I leaped on top of them. That's not acceptable. That's not even fair. That's rude. Wait, Ranmar, don't do a technical attack. Why are you doing the things that you were doing? Oh, never mind. <laughs> They're just dumb. <laughs> They're just waiting to see what I do. <laughs> oh, I wonder what they're going to do. Maybe they're going to murder me. Ah! Oh, it, did, it didn't die. All right, let me fix that. Oh, it's retreating to its den. If we go after it, we can get an egg. Apparently, that's something I missed when I first played this. Okay, take all. Oh, we got a B rank for that? I guess we maybe killed it too hard. Oh, it's this. Aftonoth den. Here we go. This is the stuff. Let's get let's get me an Aptonoth egg. Quite question mark. Okay, monsters out cold. Try not to wake it. Needs its beauty sleep. Kind of creepy that it just has giant skeletons hanging out in its den. But you know what? I don't know if animals actually care as much. I think they do to some degree. If I take too long, we still get to keep the egg. But we're gonna have to fight the Aptonoth. Well, I don't really care. I'm gonna keep going for the best possible Aptonoth egg. Okay, let's run for it. Oh, no, we fight it. Wait, maybe... Oh, I see. I bet if it catches me with the egg, I drop the egg, and then I lose it. That makes sense. Well, I got a humble herbivore egg. Well, for now, that'll have to do. Until we figure out how to get a better Aptonoth. Anyway. Oops. Is that what I... Do you like a preemptive attack? It doesn't look like it. All right, whatever. Time to fight some Aptonoths for a while. Wait, I can fight crabs? 
Craft! Craft! Oh, sweet. But I gotta hit it with a uh, blunt weapon. Well, that's okay. Hence hammer. Oh, level one hammer. That's interesting. And I have no idea what they're using. I'm going to assume they're power. Oh, they're technical. Never mind. Wait, maybe... Maybe I'm actually correct. Power. Okay. Well, I'm not correct, but it's fine. Die, Kraf? I doubt I get to ride any of these. It'd be really funny to get a bunch of the, like, the smaller... Critters, but I doubt it would happen. Oh. Hi. Alright, we're doing this. Kinship skill. Destroy it. I have, an, I am so glad there's, like, hyperspeed mode. Obviously, it doesn't make the game very watchable. I'll slow it down for, like, important bits. But for what, what I'm doing, for just running around? Nah, no biggie. Ooh! Secret treasure. Antidote. Eh, I mean, probably useful. I don't have any right now. But, like, normally, eh. Very much eh. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> this is like, and the hop on the pad, and then the answer is no. Is there actually much of a reason for this, though? No. So I most definitely can't hop to that section. After Doth Ambush. Alright, it's okay. I'm specialized in the art of kiting and shuffle stepping. You cannot catch me. Oh, shit. It's actually kind of fast. <laughs> Eh, 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 eh. Gotta get out of here. Ah, ah. I <laughs> uh, love it. Looks like it's another herbivore egg. Not like I should be expecting anything better out of this. No, bird wyvern egg. Why is the Aptonoth mad at me then? That didn't make any sense. It's like, ah, you stole this egg from this other creature. Oh, can I fight one of these big bad boys? Hello. I can. Okay. Laranoth. Okay. You know earlier I said they looked really cool? They look really cool up until you see their face. Not big on their face. Oh, God. Wait, no, no, no. It's just because I haven't killed one yet. I was like, why does this thing have... Ow. They're doing tech attacks. Oh, tech's good against speed. Yeah. All right, here we go. Ugh. What was going on with that? I think there was some, like, collision issues. No, that's just them twitching as they die. Never mind. I was hoping I'd be able to, uh, get one of their eggs. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. The nest seemed to be just total random. Uh, unless maybe there's, like, one sitting on the ground. Maybe that could be it. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to be particularly discerning in the kind of monsters that I roll with. I kind of wish you could get smaller monsters. Look at those little guys. Well, it's gone now, but... Some of the cute little, like, neutral monsters are... Well, really cute. Oh, well. Yeah, it looks like there's dens all over the place. If I want to go egg hunting, I can and I will. Alright. Hop. Damn, I wish I had legs like that. Then again, I'd probably fall and break something. And that'd be the end of legs like that. <laughs> uh, horrifying to think of, honestly. I don't know, as a kid, I never ever would jump off the swings. Because uh, I think my mother warned me that, like, if you jump off wrong, you're going to fall. <laughs> I've already done a couple of these. You're going to fall and you're going to break an arm or a leg or something. And I remember warning my friends, like, hey, yeah, don't do it. You're going to fall and break something. And then what do you know? Like, that very day... Uh, let's see. I can combine things. Cool. Uh, that very day, one of my friends broke his arm. At which point I would go over to his house to kind of keep him company since he couldn't do much. Because uh, he broke it pretty bad. And so I'd play Digimon World 1 uh, in his presence, question mark. Uh... You know, until he was feeling better. There we go. I can murder these things. 
I absolutely hate Benahabras. They're annoying little suckers. Uh, I don't actually... Yeah, it's his technical attacks. Heck yeah. Oh, I do actually take retaliatory damage from these guys. I figured winning a head-to-head -head would just deny them an attack. But the answer is no. Oh, no, it's okay. Anyway. Yeah, I got really into Digimon World 1 that year. And uh, I apparently did, like, really well with my training. Because, effectively, I went back over to his house and he's like, Yeah, I took your save file because uh, you had better Digimon than me. And I, I, I bought them. And I'm like, oh. It makes sense, but aww. But, I mean, it was his game. It's not like I can really complain too much. Uh, ever since, I've always wanted to go back. Never have. I sort of... I guess I never really got that far in it. I did buy a used copy uh, back when it was available on... Well, I had a PS2. And so I got it on PS2 and played it. The problem was, I think the disc was a little scratched. I bought it from probably eBay, let's be honest here. And, yeah, the disc was a little scratched, and so it would crash every once in a while. And that was just tragic. Because, like, it wasn't it wasn't the kind of crash that was like, oh, yeah, whatever, that set me back a couple of minutes. It would set me back, like, whole sessions sometimes. It's like, mm, yeah, just not worth it. Hey. Wow, that was easy. One round win. But then again, I am actually getting a decent number of levels here. S rank. Heck yeah. The power of overgrinding. I really should probably get my Apton off sooner than later so I can overgrind that thing up to uh, absurd levels just for the heck of it. Hello, sir. You'll become fodder for my EXP. Well, I guess not so much fodder than... Nope, it's dead. Aha! Oh, I probably should have actually switched to the Kuluyaku for that. Oh, well. The music in this cave, it sounds kind of dirgy. I guess it's not really music so much as just the ambiance. But the ambiance of it is freaking spooky. It's just like in the background you hear... Constantly. It's like, what is in this cave? Souls of the Damned? See that monster buddy? We're gonna have to beat it if we want to get our paws on that egg. I've already got plenty, but all right. All right. Okay, Velocidrome, Shmabadabadap. Because you know what I have? Switch monsties into Nugget. It still weirds me out that Nugget is full grown and I full grew it today. But you know what? Is what it is. Oh, if we do the double attack, that's what denies them the attack. Boy, this is just mean. Come, Nugget. <laughs> oh, this is just... Okay. It's a showdown. Mash button. Cheer it on. Cool. Get him, Nugget. Get him, Nugget. You know, amusingly... Amusingly? I, I don't know if I'd say amusingly, but... Okay, it changes its attack pattern. We're up to level two. I think it switches to power after this. Oh, well, that just beat it. I was going to try and hyperpower my kinship skill, but I guess it didn't matter. I don't know what else I was, was going to say, but it's fine. That was a good fight. Time to pick up an egg. <coughs> ah. It's the usual one, and he'll effectively just give us a... I'm sure that maybe there's more finesse than I know about, but... Uh, oh, right. Well, we're here. I should probably grab some goodies. But yeah, maybe there's some more finesse to it, but I'm assuming it's just kind of random chance whether or not you get a good one. But yeah, unfortunately, I think most of the eggs we're going to find are not going to smell like much and light. Oh, well, that's a good sign. Kind of stinky. And it's light. Okay. Clawful's gonna happen. I know it. Well, this this one's stinky. And glowy. The fact that it's glittering sounds like a... 
Uh, let's see. The fact that this one is glowing is a good indication that I should keep it. I don't know what I'm going to get. But, I mean, it's probably better than whatever I had. I got three eggs. Let's, uh, let's go bring them back. We No. Aw. We we. You know, that should break something. But I'm glad it doesn't, because that would be mean. Yay, you're back! How'd you like your first solo quest? It's pretty wild, right? I was worried you might get lost or something. I'm super glad to see you all in one piece. Huh, was it easy? You look completely unfazed. Guess there's no denying you're Red's grandkid. <laughs> you even brought back an egg. Splendid work. Oh, wow, you're right. Huh, I'm a better teacher than I thought. Which is it? Thanks to your teaching or because this is Red's grandkid? Huh, who cares? The newbie did a great job, and that's what counts. What do you think, Kana? They're ready for the next one, wouldn't you say? Really? Isn't it a little too soon for the rookie to handle alone? Hmm. You should go with them too, just in case. Why so serious, guys? Whatever it is, we can handle it! We've had reports of some recent turf wars in the Pona grasslands. Turf wars? What's that? It's when monsters fight over territory. We've even found badly injured monsters in the grasslands. We can't just let them tear each other apart. It'll be bad news for the island's ecosystem if we do. Let's get moving. I'll meet you at the edge of the village. All right, let's see what's in these eggs. I've been doing some management. I got I got a new bow, but the thing that matters most is egg. So we got two light. Let's start with the Aptonoth, because I'm pretty sure this is going to be an Aptonoth. Oh, shoot. You know what? I'm going to have to do this. Aw, it's so cute. Offense plus one. It's so cute. All right. Anyway, we're going to name it Little Feet. All right, next up, we've got whatever the heck this is. Probably another Velocidrome or something. I'll have to see if I can, like, get rid of some of these. What about this one, though? This one was stinky. It is a Velocidrome, but it has slightly higher stats. I... I... Fine. Its name's gonna be stinky. We're gonna have a lot of these, aren't we? Like, just random Velocidromes that we don't need? Is there... Manage Monsies. There we go. Okay. So we can release back to the wild, register as favorite, cool. A number of these I'm just gonna chuck in the bin. So, obviously Ranmar is a little harder to tell since he's a higher level. Rarity two star, two star, one star. Don't, don't be harsh on my little foot. He's so cute. All right, so we're gonna get rid of this one. Gene info. Hit start gene. I wonder if you can breed them together. That would be... I would appreciate that. Oh, they have different genes across the board. So, evasion up gene, head start gene. Interesting. Well, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna release that one because it wasn't that interesting. Maybe... Uh, let's see. Swap monsters from the stables. Cool. Frankly, I'll just keep Ranmar with me. I won't get rid of him immediately. But uh, I'll probably switch him. Maybe there's a way to like breed them together or do something. I don't know. I really liked uh, Dragon Warrior monsters. You never really had monster bloat because you kept combining them down into more powerful monsters. As opposed to just like, oh, it's a... Uh, let's go evening. Uh, it's like a slightly better version of what I already have. Like, I've done that a couple of times. I did that in Temtem, and I hated it. It wasn't a very fun thing. I don't think it matters that much in this one unless you really want to mid-max, though. 